Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We have x squared equal to 4 to the x. And on the first side this is a very easy equation. We have 2, we have 4, so it is like close numbers right here. We have like not a complicated expression. We have x squared, we have 4 to the x. So it looks like we can easily solve it by inspection. We can easily find this root 1, 2, 3, 4 right here. But it is not works like that. It looks like very easy equation, but we need to know a really interesting trick a really interesting method, how can we solve it, and in this video, of course, I will show it how can we solve it correctly and step by step. First of all, we have mm, 2 as a power and x as exponent as well. This is a power, this is our variable, so we need to know how can we bring this back right here as a product, because if you know a little bit about natural log, you can easily write it as natural log x square equal to natural log 4 4 to the x. Okay, you really need to know this because right now, if you know this nature log, you can easily write this 2 right here and x right here. This is really great because it's hard to work with exponent with the power. If you know a little bit about nature log, we can easily write it like that. And right now we have like 2 nature log, but with one really important moment. You need to put absolute value right here equal to x times nature log, nature log 4. Okay? One really important moment, you need to put absolute value, because x can be positive, x can be negative, we don't know about it, right here x square, so it's correct to write this with absolute value. Right now, we have constant, variable, const, variable, and once more constant, so let's try to group our variables on the left, for example, side, and our constant on the right hand side. And for this, let's try to divide at first by 2, let's divide both sides by 2, if we divide by 2, we have like natural log absolute value of x, so from here we cancel this, equal to, equal to, right here x, natural log 4, so the same, and in the numerator we have, we have our, our 2. Okay, so I hope you understand this step, just dividing both sides by these two. Right now, what are we going to do? We still have this variable on the right hand side, but as I told before, we need to have like uh, we're constant on the right hand side. So let's divide both sides by this x. If we divide both sides by this x, we have like natural log absolute value x over x equal to natural log 4 over over 2. So right now we have we have this expression, something like that. And it's hard to solve it in an easy way by inspection, because we have natural log x right here inside this natural log, and x as a, as a variable in our denominator, so it's really hard to solve it like in, in 30 seconds. So for this we need to know about lambda w function. And for those who don't know about this function, or who knows but uh, not a lot about this function, I want to explain this function in, in a simple words. Okay? So first of all, for example, imagine you have something like that. You have something like that, say a times e to the power a. You have something like that. And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, this is equal to a. But a is whatever you want expression. For example, nature log 2x, nature log x, square root of 10x, sine x, doesn't matter whatever you want expression. Then Lambert W function from this uh, complicated function equal to only a. So only to this, to this uh, variable. Yeah? Only to this expression. Ok, I hope you understand about Lambert W function, sometimes uh, you need to write this L, but doesn't matter. Ok, Lambert W function looks like that, this is a rule that we need in our, in our case. So let's apply this function inside of this uh, expression right here. But first of all, we have absolute value, it's really hard to solve it in one case, we need to solve it by two cases. First case, we need to write when x is positive one, because let's, let's start with positive, when x is positive, you will have the next. You will have natural log x only x, so we just uh, take away this x, absolute value x, equal to natural log 4 over 2. So let's try to solve this expression and of course according to according to Lambert W function. Let's let's try to do this. First of all we have this e right here. Right here we don't have e but we have x. x can be written in a really e interesting way. We can write this x in, a, in the next way. We can write this x as x equal to e to the power natural log x. Okay, let's change this x by e to the power natural log x. So as a result we have natural log x over e to the power natural log x, yeah, so we write it instead of this x, we write e to the power natural log x, equal to natural log 4 over over 2. Okay, so I hope you understand this step, we just write this e to the power natural log x instead of this, instead of this x. Ok, what are we going to do next? As you can see, right here in Lambert W function we don't have any, any fraction, so we don't have numerator, denominator, so right here let's try to bring this e to the power nature log x from denominator to our numerator. 
So obviously, no, we need to put minus, yeah, because we bring this to, from the numerator to the numerator, or, or in another way from numerator to the numerator, you need to put minus. So as a result, we have natural log x, natural log x times e to the power, but not natural log x minus natural log x, equal to natural log 4 over, over 2. Okay, so I hope you, you understand this step. We just bring this from denominator to numerator, but we need to put minus right here. And then right now uh, we can easily feel that it looks like something like that. We have a, we have not a but minus a. I will tell, it, uh, tell you in, in 30 seconds what we're going to do. We have e right here, which is really great. So we have nature log x, we have minus nature log x, so it looks like we have a, a and minus a, we need to have like same element, same expression. And for this, let's try to multiply both sides by minus 1. If you multiply both sides by minus 1, I write it here, we multiply it by minus 1. If you multiply both sides by minus 1, we have like minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to nature log 4 over 2 but with the minus sign because we multiply on both sides by minus 1. And right now if we look closely to this take a look we have a times e to the power a and right here if we write a substitution minus nature log x equal a so then we have the same a right here so as you can see we can easily apply Lambert w function right now we can easily apply Lambert w function i write it in a new line right here so Lambert w function from the whole this expression minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to Lambert W function of minus nature log 4 over over 2. Okay? So, as I told before, let's look right here on the top. Lambert W function from this expression equal to A. In our case, A equal to minus nature log x. So, minus nature log x equal to Lambert W function of this expression minus nature log 4 over over 2. Okay, this is really great because we it simplifies us a lot. We have a really great <coughs> expression right now. Okay, right now, what we're going to do? We need to find our x, we have natural log, so it's really great to, to know a really interesting trick. Let's try to write this uh, nat natural log x to the power minus 1 and let's write base of e on both sides. So what I mean? e to the power and write this power natural log x to the power minus one, yeah, and we need to have we need to write this e on the right hand side as well. E to the power number w function to the power uh, of nature minus nature log four over two. <clears throat> okay, so I write this base of e on both sides. Nothing changed for us, and I bring this minus right here as a power of x to the power minus one. Okay. What are we going to do next? Nature log and e we can easily cancel, so as a result we have x to the power minus 1 equal to e to the power Lambert w function of this expression minus nature log 4 over over 2. And the last step, this is x to the power minus 1, we need to, uh, to find our x, so we just need to bring this to our denominator. So x, x equal to 1 over e to the power Lambert w function of minus nature log 4 over 2. And this is our, our answer. But this is not a whole answer because we just solve it in a positive way. As I wrote before, we, we solve it with x is positive 1. Right here, when x is positive 1, one really important moment because I, I find this uh, exactly value of this expression. And right here, when x is positive, we will have no real no real root which is really really interesting so when x is positive no real root so here is your homework right here second case when x is negative uh, doing absolutely the same algorithm as right here you you will easily practice your Lambert w function easily practice Lambert w function and you will have answers something like that maybe you will have minus right here and plus right here i don't want to solve it for you but this is very great practice to Lambert w function for you at a, at a homework right here because you can easily practice Lambert w function and right here if you solve it your x will be approximately equal to minus 0.6 for one, you can easily check it in in like uh, in internet libraries, and approximately your graph looks like that. So you will have something like that, and you will have like exponential function four to the x something like that, and you will have our our parabola something like that, and right here you will have your 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 root. So this x will be right here. So one point of intersection in a negative in a negative negative part. 
So we hope you understand this explanation. It's like it's a really great question to practice your Lambert W function. So I give you a homework to solve it with x is negative. x is negative 0. When x is positive, no real roots. When x is negative, I want you to, to solve it. And of course, if you still have a question, write a question into the comment section. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.